Hi guys, it's from Sebastian here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. So this is a make model I did here in Blender and everything textured modded was done in Blender. So we are going to be exploring some advanced texture painting technique here in Blender. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Let me start by getting a new project. So I'll head over on the file here, left on new, hover my mouse on new and then general, left click on general now. So I'll get a new cube here. So what you want to do first, is to move out to the texture painting workspace. So I'll just click on the texture painting workspace and here we we'll have a new workspace. We we'll have our cube here and then we'll have where, uh, that's here is where our image displays, displays what we are painting, displays as a flat image here. So you have the brush settings here. So let me just start by adding a texture slot. So you can see where the road texture slot, sorry, this is Blender 4.0. If you're using an older version, this texture slot, it usually used to be by my right here. So here that's where it is now in 4.0 okay so now i'm going to click on the texture slot to use uh, the plus icon add a texture slot like a whatever it is you want to paint so you have base color roughness metallic and all this map so i want to paint base color at first so let me just click on base color and then we can change anything we want to change that's this is the resolution of the texture you want to paint and then make sure you enable alpha and then the generated type is leave as blank and then click ok so now i have an an image texture here on this box and then you can see it here reflecting here so first brush i have here is draw now so the, the draw brush is used to draw anything so you can see the color i have here is white and then the color here as well is white so majority of the options we have at the top here we also have it at my right here okay so just note some of the ones that will be easy and accessible from the top here and then the ones that will be easy and accessible from here you use them so let's draw a stroke first now on this now so you can see my stroke here, you can see vividly. So if you just left click now, draw now, so you can draw something. So another thing to note is the type of brush you have here. Let me get, uh, let's head back to the draw brush now. And then let's make this draw brush hard. So you're going to be seeing the effect very well. So we are using a hard fall off. So what this fall off does now is if, if it's a curve, the graph here we have here, we are going to be have, having blood or soft edges. But if we make it um, a squared graph here, like this now, so we are going to have... Um, sharp edges that's what this fall off does and that's why you would want to be changing from them from square to curved okay so now let's draw let's get a sharp this thing now a sharp uh, stroke so i'm going to draw a sharp stroke so can you say it now the stroke is very sharp now so you can see the effect of what i'm talking before now soften now so you can see this soften softens the edges of this brush and then the smear here trying to smear in color to another one so can you see that's how it works and then clone clones the color from there to this one so can you see how it works? Okay, so it clones any color you have to this one. So I don't use this as much. So I have the smear and then the smooth brush. So you have the feel. The feel is very, very important when you want to facilitate anything. You want to feel color on the object at once. So if I just click on it, I have the color field now. So this is max and then this one is annotate. Okay, you're not going to be using those ones often. So now you have your brush by my right here. Any brush you select, you're going to see it here. So I just have one brush and on therefore that is what you are going to have. So you might want to create another brush. So you just have to click on the duplicate now to create another brush. So this is now I have two brush now. So with this icon you can create another brush so i will name this first one just draw and then the second one we are going to name it texture so this one is just draw and then this one will name it a uh, texture so we'll name this one texture so this one will be our texture so that is it now so let's move back to the draw brush now so now by my right you have a lot of interesting options here so now you have the color now so another thing you want to recheck is your color palette so the color palette is you know what color palette this is where you pack the colors you are using so this is white i'm using now so i'll just click on new now and then i've added a palette so i'll click on the plus icon to add this color i've selected so should in case i drag out or drag around the wheel and get any perfect color i want to use i'll click plus again to add the color to my palette so this is what you have to be doing to add as many colors you use so that you don't get to lose them once you paint anything you just have to head over to the material or the slot here and click save all image and as well to save the image yourself you have to head over to image here go to save as to make sure that it's saved on any folder you want it to save your perfect folder and then save the image so you have it there so you don't lose it as much as you paint small you go to save and save all image so anything you paint you save it so you don't lose the file so i've selected all the colors should in case i want to paint this purple now i'll just left click on it and then 
left click and then paint the color so you can see i have the color there so now we are going to add textures and then we are going to explore some brush options so i just added a stroke by painting now so should in case i want to get something like i want to get something very straight a straight um, line or a straight stroke so to do that now you can see where the road stroke now so this is another option that i use all the time you see stroke and fall off your sh i'm sure you're going to be using it most of the time the texture here you can get it here so now let's try the stroke now so i have space here so i will switch from this space to line so what this line does it gives you a straight line to give you that um leverage to get a very straight stroke so now i've gotten the dotted line so once i release my mouse it's going to give me place a color with the size of my brush on wherever it is i draw so let's just say i want a straight line here. i'll just left click and draw and then i've gotten the stroke so another one i use is the anchor version of the stroke you have anchor here so once you select the anchor what it does it stops at the center and then expands from there so can you see that's how the anchor works okay so that's it let's fill this now with white again let's head back to the fill brush and then left click and then it fills it with just white so now let's text the texture brush so now let's move out from let's head back to the draw brush and then let's left click on the brush move over to texture brush and then let's head over down now to this texture slot here you can see where the root texture this is a tab here where you used to add your texture just click on it now you see new just click on plus now and then you've added an image so you can create a new image texture yourself but then you can add from an image and you will always want to use an image texture mm -hmm. to paint anything you want to paint okay so now I'm going to select the folder where I have the texture. So I'll select the folder where I have the texture now. So I head over to texture scratch now. So these are textures I have. I have I even have normal map textures. So you can paint normal and paint image as well. So let's just select this one, open image now. So the texture has been added. So let's head over to the tool now. One thing you would want to check here so that you can draw very well is this then so that's the texture mapping so you can see if i draw this texture now the texture brush selected and then the white color is also very important the color you use to paint the map is important so the brighter the color the more the map is going to come out the darker the color the darker the map is going to come out and any color you are, you are using to paint the map is going to influence it let's just say i use this purple now and then I paint the texture map. So you can see the texture is looking somehow popish. Okay, so let me go back and then use white. So you can see now it gives me, the white gives me the exact color of the map. So any color you are using as the brush color when painting any texture influences the texture. So note that you need that when you're painting maps. So now I've painted the brush now and you can see it's painting it in ties. So you would want to change the texture mapping. You can see texture here. If you could click on this texture drop down, it brings out the texture option from you. So you want to change from tile to tensor. So this tensor now gives you the leverage to kind of play around with the texture. If you right click now and drag, you can move this texture to anywhere. And then if you click control, right click, now you can rotate the texture. And then if you hold shift and still right click, you can then scale shift and still right click, you can then scale the texture and bring it out. So what you need to do and move and anything on the texture is with your control shift and then right click okay so now let's say i want to paint this exact thing here what i just need to do is use my brush now paint it and paint and paint and once i remove it now right click and remove the texture you can see it has painted it on the object this is very very is a very great technique to paint anything you want however you want it you can scale and paint and all those stuff so this tensor is very very great and you can scale it out by shift and scale it in okay i use it a lot of the time and as well you can't just only paint just colors you can still paint maps let's just say i want to paint normal map now what i just need to do is head over to the um, image here click on the drop down use the plus icon add the normal map so i'm going to click on ok with the same dimension as this one so i'll just click on ok i can go over to image now make sure i save the normal map so that it's going to be saving anywhere i want it to be saved so once you save this normal now once you click on the drop down here save all image is going to save the normal on where you saved it why you'd want to do this is so that you don't lose anything you painted okay so now we've added the normal map and then we have to go back to the texture with that same brush our texture brush still selected we head over to the texture uh, folder here and then change this our uh, image from this uh, change our image from this image we have to a normal colored image so we'll select this one now and then we'll head over to our brush is selected now and then we'll change this our normal brush we can use white and it will still give us so we'll make it a little bit darker so it will give us um, a dark color the normal map okay 
So let's just paint this guy now. So you can see it has painted the normal map here. So that is how it works. So you can paint normal maps. And then once you are painting normal maps, it's best to use purple color instead of white because most times use purple and it gives me close to what I'm looking for. So let's just use the left click on the color tab and then use the color picker. Pick this color now and then click on the plus. That's on the color palette on the plus to add another color palette. So it has added this color palette. I have this color. I have it has added it as a palette. So I've selected it now and then I'm going to scale, hold shift, right click, scale this texture and then paint it here so you can see it has painted the texture and it looks exactly like what i have so you would always want to use the when it comes to painting normals and then roughs colors that are similar to them and white as well like i said like it gives you close to everything you need because it's white is a universal color so but so far you need something very close you just use the colors close to them okay so now i've painted this um, normal as well and then if i head over to the that's the color the normal is going to reflect. I don't have any color here, but if this is um, if I switch over to here, you're going to see the normal reflect. And then what we can do on this normal now is make sure that we we'll save all image so it has saved it. So this is the technique you can use and paint literally anything you want to paint. You have your fall off, you have your stroke, and then you have your texture mapping, okay? And then your brush is here. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, do share it, and subscribe as well. See you guys on my next video. Thank you.